Yo. What up, Jen? Natasha. I miss you too. Um, I will, uh, one of these days, I need to come back. I know. I think I said that the last seven times I spoke to you, but I'm going to be running out of excuses pretty soon because I don't got much else going on right now. That's why I'm doing this on a Tuesday afternoon. Evening? Afternoon? I don't know. Out of a job. Why, thank you, Natasha. I started this, like, I don't know, four months ago. Um, I never really got around to finishing it. I've been meaning to. But right now, I'm just trying to finish it because I'm bored. And I want to get it out of the way, to be honest. I'm tired of looking at it. You ever finish something purely just to not look at it anymore? Like to get it out of the way? I haven't painted in a hot minute. You need to get on it. You gotta understand. It's hard to get in a creative zone. You know what I mean? Oh, and I'm doing this outside to get some of the uh, sounds of outside, like the water and all that shit. Do I get in trouble if I say shit? Do I get in trouble if I say shit? Or does You can even smoke weed on Instagram. Whoa. <gasps> he better not. Tell him, tell him do not do that. I'll be so upset. And I'll get the sap beat out of me or whatever. Which, I mean, only trees have sap, so I don't even, nobody's ever like questioned Big Mom on that. Like. Everyone was just like, yeah, I have, I, I contain sap, you're right, no question about that. If I were to be beaten, sap would come out of me, 100%. Now, am I going to call Big Mama out on that? No, because I don't want to die or get the, you know, the sap beat out of me, but... I'm just saying, somebody, somebody out there should be like, oh, Big Mom, we don't have, we're not made out, we're not trees. And if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be Brandon. I feel like he's the only one with the, uh, I don't know, the balls, I guess. Kids got balls. Everybody else will get in trouble. He just gets like an eye roll or something. I feel like Brandon gets away with a lot. I don't know. Is that just me? And yes, I'm painting the goose's ass right now, if, you, if you're wondering. Um, I mean, it's not, I didn't choose to start with the ass. I mean, I started with all this. That was a long time ago. For some reason the ass like bothered me the most here and so I'm, I'm picking up that part kind of where I left off I guess and no I'm not painting a goose out of my imagination no yes yeah, still oil paints only oil paints I hate acrylic I dry too quickly this is me now. although I was using acrylics to do something else not too long ago, but we're not going to talk about that. Because I don't like how it turned out. 
But yeah, I'm going off of a picture that a friend of mine took. Cami. Shouts out to Cami, the photographer extraordinaire. Moon paint it whenever this part of the goose is. Any bird experts want to clean the air? Go out ahead. I wish some of y'all could talk in here. Natasha, you're plenty good. Everyone's better than me. I need to get on everybody else's level. That's what I need to do. Some people think that I know what I'm doing. Well, I don't want to spoil it for you, but I have no idea. Most of the time, I have no idea what I'm doing. Occasionally, I'm like, I know how to do that. And that's when, like, a painting starts. It's like, I thought that I knew how to do it. But then it's like, oh. I have no idea what I'm doing, huh? I'm pretty sure most other artists feel the same way. Oh, and as far as who to watch, watch some Bob Ross. Um, because if you pay attention, or if you look closely at his paintings, he's not, they're not super detailed. Which isn't to say that they look like shit, but it's not like this big, you know, like he's just winging it, kind of, if that makes any sense. It's not that it looks bad, it looks good. You know, his always looks, his paintings always look good, but like, he's showing you how to trick everybody into thinking that you are an excellent painter. And that's the key. That's the key. If you're watching this, and you wanna become a really good painter, the trick is to trick everybody and thinking that you're good. Most people don't think. And so if you even try, you're already ahead of the game. Because most people are like, I wouldn't even try. Or they're like, I could draw stick figures. <laughs> so you're already ahead of, the, ahead of the game on that. You know? already got them beat. Now, fooling an art critic, that's hard. That's more difficult. Yeah, keep watching Bob Ross. Also, hi, babe. Also, one of my favorite things to do when painting is to, like, paint hardly nothing and get frustrated and then be like, okay, guys, that's where I'm gonna, that's where we're gonna wrap it up today. It was fun. Getting real. And yeah, that's me saying that just in case I actually do that, you'll get the joke. Because I'll be honest, I don't know how far along I'm going to get on this. Yes, it's Emily. Yeah, she's here. You need your butt kicked in order to paint. Hold up. Roy! Roy! What you doing, Roy? Roy, I don't know how to break this to you, uh, but Sears Driving School is no more. Sears Driving School is gone the way of the dodo bird, extinct, if you will. And I know, I know you're upset, um, but it's okay, you know? I mean, not for a lot of people trying to get their license, but for you, it's okay because you're already done. You don't have anything to worry about now. Some people do. Some people... There's a lot of people with a lot of questions. How am I going to get my license in? But you don't have to worry. You're not them. So, it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Some people do. But thankfully for you, you're not one of those people. Um, the owner decided to close it down. That's on him. Um, he's a little bit of a poo head, we'll just say that, because 
my grandmother might get word of me saying shit. Um, but that's okay. You know, it's fine. I hated working there anyway. I didn't want to tell you that, but I hated working there. Hated that job. It sucked. That creepy dude. The creepy guy ruined it. He ruined everything. He used to actually like my job. So I started working with him. But yeah, now it's back to the old... Well, I don't know... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I have to teach somewhere else, but I'm not sure where. Still need to get my teaching license renewed. And that's taking forever. And then... From there, I don't even know. It won't be in Mesquite, sorry. Just saying that right now. Um, it'll be somewhere else. What's my favorite color to... What is my favorite color to blend? Um, I don't really have a... Fa I, I have a least favorite color trying to, trying to make. And that's green. I fucking hate green. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. You know, hey, it took me a long time, but you know how you make a good green? Black. Ivory black, preferably. And lemon yellow. That's all you need. Is that a way the green will look more natural? Using blue with green, or blue with yellow to make a green, it looks, it looks like like Slime Time Live, Nickelodeon, and it's garbage and it looks like shit. And that's all black is, is just like a really dark blue anyway. Wish somebody had told me that years ago, but that, you know, whatever. You live and you learn. Whatever. It's fine. Let me do it. Actually, I take that back. I think I just like blue. Sometimes it's hard to get the right blue, but blue is fun. Fun to work with. Fun to look at. Green, brown, all that. It's look ugly. It's gross. Not a fan. Jake! You're on. For some reason. Jake. I fell in love with... What? That's like a weird red. Gorgeous color. Yeah. Yeah, ultramarine. Uh, acrylics have the same, some of the same names, but um, I don't know. They look different. They don't look the same. I would love to sit here and act like I can also paint with acrylics, but eh. Actually, I haven't tried in so long. I do really it. It's fine, I guess. It'll get the job done. Honestly, I one of the things that I like about oil paints is it gives you the excuse to procrastinate. You can just say, look, this isn't going to dry for quite a while. Let's take a break. Um, that kind of backfired on me, though. A little while ago. I started a painting. I did a I did a painting video. Like, I had the camera running the whole time. It's that really big square one, the sunset thing. I painted that, and then... Uh, it never dried. It's still not dry. I, I'm going... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get rid of it. Start over. Buy a new canvas. I don't know what I did. Where I went wrong. I don't know. But I'm talking months. And it wouldn't dry. I mean... I like procrastinating as much as the next guy, but... Months. Yeah, a painting sleeping for a year. Yeah, uh, I have had uh, years. There's one that... There's several that I just... 
Well, I should have just thrown them away. I don't know why I didn't save them, but there's some that's just like, I'm never going to get around to this. Why am I keeping this? If it gets to the point where it's years, I'm talking years, it's best to just paint over it and do something else. Unless you really feel like you can work with it. Let it go. Let it go. For some reason in the picture, his, his wing, or his wing here, tip, wing tip or whatever, is blurry and it's hard to get a handle on what I'm looking at. Because the picture is blurry. But just in this one part, and now I'm questioning why I decided to work on this one part. It was blurry. Maybe this is why I stopped in the first place. So we got to this point. It was blurry. And I was like, I can't work with this. So another thing I like to do is just pretend like I'm some really big artist. And just be like, oh, I can't work under these conditions. And then you take another break. And it could be anything. Just be like... AC isn't up to my standard. It's too hot, it's too cold. The water in my drink isn't good enough. And you just take a break. That's a crucial part of painting is knowing when to take a break and just say, you know what? Let's do it. Break time. I've worked hard enough for two minutes. I owe it to myself. Keep telling yourself that. You owe it to yourself. Take a break. Doesn't matter what your job is. Okay, I don't know why I did all this. This is aggravating. It wasn't even looking like this in the picture. It has this white. Something else this in the Maybe I just thought it looked better. Hey, cuz. Thank you. Um, Kieran. <laughs> get Kieran, get Kieran out of here. That's what we need to do. I'm just kidding. Kieran's the best. <laughs> this goose has a weird ass. No. It's just, it doesn't look right. I don't feel like it's anything on my part either. I feel like it's just weird. It just has a weird shape to it. Canadian geese are assholes. Well, that's, um, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like all geese are. I don't, I don't know why. Specifically, just these kind of geese get a bad rap because, I mean, it's not like, I personally have never been in a situation where I was like, this goose, all right, this goose, kind of a nice guy. It's always just, you didn't have enough bread, or you pissed it off in some way, doing something, there was nothing on your part, just a dick, you know? Honking at you and shit. Um, now, why am I talking shit about something that I'm painting? Went out of my way to paint it. Sure. Does he not like them? Yeah. Does he not like think they're good assholes? I'm, on, I'm entitled to my opinion. But yeah, Kieran would approve. I think he did approve. I just never finished it. Um, so I never ended up showing him, like, the finished product. Because there was no finished product. But he knew. Um, so did everybody else that was obsessed with uh, Untitled Goose Game. Yes, it's going to be called Untitled Goose Game. So what else would I name it? Goose. That's the old one. I can go off. I'm better than that. 
Yes, all my paintings have terrible names. That was the reference there. <laughs> Just you, yeah. Uh, people kind of come and go. I don't know enough people to have this be like a whole big thing. Um, and also people have lives. They don't want to spend their time. Just watching me. You can blame me. More important things to do, things like that. Um, and I kind of like that, you know. I like it that way. Uh, I prefer having somebody jump in every now and then and say something. Um, and also, if it ends up being literally just myself and nobody else, then it just kind of turns into what I always do. Just, you know, painting. Yuck lives? What? You don't like you don't like Instagram live? Right? Not feeling it. It's not a vibe. I'm not vibing with it. I feel it. Uh, I'm not on okay. So yes, I'm outside. I wanted to get some I wanted to get some of the, you know, the sounds. The water and the wind and some birds or some shit. And I'm thinking don't ask for it, you know. Might as well, you know. I'd see it pretty pretty nice. Oh yeah, they have lives, yeah. More important things to do is the is the real thing. It's not like super loud or super obnoxious. Nice and chill. Nice and chill. That was going for. Oh shit. I may or may not have dropped something and gotten it on myself. Usually I don't have any funny things to offer unless people jump in and say weird shit. Um, or funny things that I can go on with. If no one has anything to offer, it's kind of funny. Like a deep one. I fucking hate the feet of birds. I think that's why I stopped originally. So I was like, I gotta do the feet, and I said, fuck. <sighs> fucking birds, dude. Whose idea is this? Babe, the next time I say I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna paint this bird right quick. Remind me of feet and how I don't like to paint them, paint them. And I'll be like, you're right. Feet are stupid. Bird feet. They look absolutely shit. Oh, I think I remember how I was going to cheese my way out of that, actually. I was going to do the grass, like, so crazy that it, you couldn't tell what the feet looked like, I think. And pigeons are just gross. I mean, I don't even think I've ever seen a pigeon painting, and I think that's why, because they're ugly. Well, I'm saying, like, next time, and I'll be sure to run all my ideas by you and be like, Hey, I'm thinking about painting this, maybe, tomorrow while you're asleep. And you can be like, remember, remember the feet. And that will remind me. I fucking hate it. Oh. You're right, I won't do that. I can't tree you. 
dog or something. I'm surprised nobody's wanting me to paint a dog. People's suggestions are always boil down to paint me like they want themselves painted. And that's about it. Paint me. And only me. It's all about me. Sarah. Paint a rainbow. And sometimes I do plan my stuff up. Plan my stuff out early, kind of. Sort of. I don't know. But that's neither here nor there. Like, I can't remember. Did the crazy guy dancing, painting, did that happen, like, spur of the moment? Or did I say that I was going to? I can't remember. Kind of, sort of. Because I don't remember. can't remember. Um, oh yeah, glass. I remember that. The grass is an ugly brown and tan color. But what can you do? Yeah, I kind of just do things. I don't know. Sometimes. Yeah, so throughout, there's a little bit of this nasty green color thing. Oh, kind of randomly through high here. So, and that's about it. The rest of the grass is ugly brown and ugly tan. That's okay, because I don't like green anyway. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at how ugly that color is. It's disgusting. Eddie Van Halen died? Ugh. Well, that's stupid. He was old, though, right? If I'm not mistaken. Kind of old. I don't remember. Can't keep up. There's gonna be some sad stoners. My favorite Van Halen song is Eruption. 65? Mm, I thought he was older than that, but... Okay, well... I guess you could kind of say he was an old guy, but damn. Mine's jump. I would love to do an impression, but I just can't do it. Probably too much Coke and burgers. What kind of Coke are we talking about? <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Drugs are bad for, for you. And that's all I got to say about that. This is the part where there's a lot of, like I said, pretending to not paint. Like, does this look like grass to you? It shouldn't. You ever heard fake it till you make it? It's that, basically. Or cheating to win. I mean, you shouldn't cheat, granted, but... Cheat to win. It's kind of like fake it till you make it. And that's what we're all about. What do you do? Fake it till you make it. 
Jessica. Why aren't you painting my duck? Um, because. Because. Okay, well, we'll put it this way. Would you pay me to paint your ducks? Because that's, cause that's what we're here for, you know? That's what I'm here for. To paint things that you don't want to paint yourself or because you don't paint that's where I come in. Okay? This totally goes and screws up my theory of people only want themselves painted and nothing else. But we're not going to talk about all that. Yes, thank you. Thumbs up. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I don't know if you were ever told, but Cleo's Creations closed over the summer. Um, nobody... I'm not going to say nobody cares, but... I hated that mall. I hated it. Um, and it kind of made me resent being there at the gallery, and I'm kind of glad I don't have to worry about it anymore. Plus things weren't selling in there, so it's whatever. Kind of sad at this point in time because now there's like nothing. And nobody's selling, no kind of nothing, no art gallery anymore.
guess I have to end it because it's going to end whether I like it or not. Um, it's been real. Um, I don't know. How you like my grass? It looks like shit. I don't know. You don't have to tell me. I know. But it won't be much longer.